know that we have a young Congolese who is actually the first Congolese to open up a private equity firm at Wall Street? No. Was on the uh, he was on uh, the Forbes magazine last year, among the seven ma best managers of Africa. He's 32 years old. Everybody will love with winners. My case is different. I'm a successful businessman. You see, I live in a nice neighborhood. So people, when they see me, they're like, oh, and actually, just, just yesterday, I was talking with a, with a friend that I met in the bar. I was talking, he was say, oh, you are what we call an educated black, educated African. What does it mean? And, I, and then she was sorry, oh, I didn't mean it that way. But she just said it, you know? I didn't mean it that So this is different. Like, they always dissociate. Uh, they're like, oh, if he's successful, okay, it's good to be with him. But we don't want to be losers. That's the thing about America. My case is not the, 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 the situation of, of most of African Americans. When you're poor in this country and you're black, then you're in shit. Then you're, then you're in trouble. If your father is rich in this country, even if you're black, you can still find your way out of, of, of problems. Even if when you're guilty. My parents came here, my mother who had a very high post at home, she came here, she had to become a domestic worker, like a mm -hmm. nanny, taking care of kids. This is a woman who has studied, who's paid her dues, who's really, you know, worked to be at the level where she is. She had to go all the way back down and be a nanny. And my father was working as a security guard in Dwayne Reed, which is one of these mm -hmm. local stores. And it's like seeing how much they've worked and now where they're the level where they are now. You know, my mother is a, um, is a paralegal. My father's an accountant. So they've been able to battle their ways back up the ladder, you know. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I look at that and I know that other immigrant children have that same can relate to that same story you know it's hard work and um, we learn from it and it just makes us better people it makes us fighters you know and we have our first african president they don't want to admit that he's kenyan 